Good evening, you guys. How are you? My name is Marlene, and this is Marley Grace Creations. Welcome to my Facebook page. And if you're watching me from YouTube right now, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, the other night, I was on here, and we were talking about doing this sweet little birdhouse. And so, I did. I left it out and left my stuff. I've added a few little things. So, we're going to, hey, Nancy, we're going to make over this sweet little birdhouse. With, we're using a Dollar Tree birdhouse, a Dollar Tree, what do you call this? Potting, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> hey, Julie. Hey, Emma Kay. Um, anyway, it's one of those that you can plant something in and put it in the ground. It will disintegrate, whatever that is. Hey, Jill, how are you? All right, let's, uh, let's see. First thing I'm going to do, hey, Diane, first thing I'm going to do is put this on here and let it just be sitting because it needs to, it needs to adhere to that. Let me get it straight before it gets all stuck. Looks good. I'm going to set this on here. It's not going to be finished yet, but I'm going to set it on here. How are you guys? Has everybody had a good day? It has been a nice day here. I thought it was going to be cold. Got this morning and there was frost everywhere. It was so cold, but it turned out to be a very nice day. So, um, let's see. These papers, I've been trying to decide exactly what to put on these because I love them all. Um, if you get these little packs of paper from Hobby Lobby, like this one's $5.99 with 40% off when it's on sale. Hey, McKay, thank you for the stars. Hey, Donna. And this is pretty too, but it's a little big. And I thought, well, it'd be kind of pretty on the roof. Hmm, I just don't know. I just don't know. I really love that a lot, but um, I don't know. I'll show you what I have out, and uh, this is what I have in my in my head here. We can do we can put this on the roof and make it look kind of like shingles, but not really. Kind of pink. It is pink. It's not kind of pink. It is pink. And then this is pretty. This is shabby chic looking, and it's got a little bitty pink with some polka dots and different stuff around the edges, which doesn't matter about that. And then I have this. This is very pretty. And let's see. I have, and this is more paper, not cardboard. You can get those little books, and some of them are more cardstock and some of them are paper. And look at that. That looks like brick with roses. That might be kind of cool around the wall of the birdhouse. Hmm, that might be kind of cool. A brick birdhouse? We'll see. We'll see in a minute. And this is the other page, just like the first one. So, let's see here. First thing I'm going to do is decide what is going on the house itself. Because I'm going to show you how easy it is to take these papers. Now, with this one, you'd want it to be straight. So, okay, we're not using that one. Because I'm going to show you. If you use um, kind of an overall pattern, kind of like that, that would work. You just put it up in the corner right there. And then you have half of it, look at that, already done. So, but I don't know if that pink will be too pink for that pink. That makes that look orange. Hmm. Okay. That was supposed to be an easy decision. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Jan. Hey, Sue. How are y'all? Okay, there's some more of that pink stripe. We don't want that. That's like barn wood. That's like more bricks. Let's see what we have. I have more stuff, but. 
you know, this is probably the best choice because it doesn't matter if it's up or down or sideways or what. And it's pretty and it'll match the top. So let's, let's just do that one. And we can put it right up in that corner. Hey, Joyce. Okay, I'm going to use uh, Mod Podge. Do I have a little bottle out? I usually do. But right now I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Yes, I am. It's just hiding. It's just hiding. Dropping everything. Hey, Becky. Okay, let's just go ahead and get some Mod Podge on this. And make it a small, kind of small brush. Not too big. Just something to spread this with. These little birdhouses are so sweet. You can do a lot of stuff with them. You can put them on a pedestal. You can put them in a dish. Um, you can, you know, you could do something with them and um, seal them up. And you can put them outside. I don't know what kind of bird would go in this. It's so tiny. But um, it's cute anyway. All right. Let's put this up in this corner. And that'll take care of most of the back. You'll see how easy when you do it this way. It would have been a lot e easier had I cut it first. That was kind of crazy, crazy. Hold on, where's my Zacto knife? That'll work too. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Kathy. I'm doing everything backwards tonight, Kathy. It's okay, I can cut this just as easy this way. Sonia, I tried to catch you a little while ago and I couldn't. important. I just keep forgetting to, hey Sonia, I just keep forgetting to give you the dress. I keep, keep meaning to give you. And don't do it like this. Don't do it like this. I'll show you how to do the other side. This is the hard way. I was going to show you an easy way to do this and I'm doing it the hard way. Okay, I'm going to smooth all that glue out. And you can do a big birdhouse just as easy as a small one. Um, you just need to um, use a bigger piece of paper, of course. And smooth all that glue and get air pockets out. So, see that? Look at that. That easy. That easy. That easy. Okay. The front's going to be a little bit harder because it has the heart and the perch. But we can do that. You guys can see okay, can't you? Good. Okay, let me find that piece of paper. All right, where's the, there it is. I thought, where did it go? I just had it. I am losing my mind today, y'all. Losing it. Let's see. I'd really rather it not be that corner, but will that one make a difference? Let me get my scissors. I'm going to change the direction of this one. I just want to make it square again so I can stick it up in that corner right there. And that way it'll be almost all flowers. That is not straight. Goodness, no wonder it won't go right. Now it will. Okay, this is what you're supposed to do. Thanks, Nancy. You're supposed to uh, score it first and get your lines. Hey, Ava. Hey, Carla. 
how are you, Jennifer, now? See the lines I have on there? There's the hole for the perch, and then here's the lines I cut by. So that will be perfect. Uh, I'll leave it just a little bit over, just a little bit. Because you can sand those edges off and make them just right. Okay. Let's make sure this is okay before I get glue on it. Okay, I want this perch to be like that. Okay, see? That is perfect in there. Hey, Jennifer. Okay, let me take that little tiny piece out where the perch goes. I better cut it. If I start tearing, I'll tear up. The hole will be wrong. Okay. Let me make sure. Yep, yep, yep. Now let me get some Mod Podge on there. Even though we hadn't cut that little heart out or a circle or whatever the birdhouse that you're going to do has. I keep throwing my paper in the floor, y'all. Let me get some Mod Podge on here. I'm just covering the whole front. I want quite a bit around that uh, part because I want to put that paper down. Hey, Terry. Oh, uh, thank you, Terry. This thing I have on, I love it. I got it from Cracker Barrel several several years ago, and it's it's a caught like a cardigan. It's like a blanket. It's like one of those thin, soft fleece blankets, really. So even though you know I've been running around today, I didn't get cold. Okay, now where's the little piece? Let's slip that right in there and get it right in the groove. Push it down in there. See, it's right in there. And all I'm using is corners of the paper. And it just it just goes right there. Now I'm pushing out around that perch. I got quite a bit of glue there. Where's my little blue thing? It just here it is. Here it is. Everything hides on this table because of this uh, turntable. See around the perch, it's in there really good. There's one little bit, and it's really a bubble of glue. It's not even the paper, so you can't even see where the paper was put on there. Hey, Dreama. I used to work with a girl named Dreama. Is the only other person that I have known named that. I love that name. Okay, let's see if we have enough left from this sheet. A lot of times I do. This time I had to cut a little bit because I didn't want all that other pink in there. So, for the sides, I'm going to get this. It'll kind of look like a trellis on the sides, I think. Okay, let me get, I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush up there to make those lines. There. See what I have? I have a line there and I have a line there. So when I cut that, it'll go right back on there. And you might think, well, let me just cut out two while I'm cutting out and I can put one on the other side. Don't always work that way. It's best. If you just wait till you get to the other side to do that. Because it just does not always work out. Because they're not always the same. These are Dollar Tree birdhouses, you know. How are you, Loretta? Let me get Mod Podge. I think I need just a little bit more. Hey, Karen. Hey, 
And when you're putting it on, go to the other edges that you put on before and go ahead and push those down good because they'll blend. You want to be able to see that there are two papers in a minute. Okay, let's see if this is right. I'm thinking it should be. Okay. Oh, it's perfect, perfect, perfect. It kind of reminds you of roses growing up this side of, see the trellis. Isn't that pretty? It's just simple, simple, simple. Let me get a little more Mod Podge on that corner edge there. I want those to go down really, really good. And then I'll, I did, Terry, thank you. I sure did, finally, finally, finally. Okay, let me turn it over and do this other side. Let me get some more Mod Podge on those edges too. If you have any little papers that's sticking up, and when I say this, this doesn't matter if it's a tiny little birdhouse or a big one, you can cover any size birdhouse this way with all paper. See how pretty these edges are where they come together? Look, see that? Now this is gonna be trimmed a little bit. Is it that one? Yes. This one has a little extra lip, but it's gonna be trimmed in a minute, but I want it to dry there first while I do this side. This side has a little bit less roses. Or do I want at the bottom? I think I want that piece. That's pretty right there. I'm just putting it up under there and then using my fingernail to score the bottom. Hey, Kathy and Lynn, how are y'all? Let me score this with my fingernail. I tell you what, sometimes your fingernail, your thumbnail, especially is your best tool. Okay, see those lines? I've got a line there and I've got a line there. So I'm just gonna cut it a little bit, a little, little, little bit past that line. Hey, Glenda. be just right. We'll see in a second. Do y'all love bird houses? Do y'all love birds? I don't like real birds. I mean, I don't hate real birds. I don't mean that. I don't want any in my house anymore. I've had real birds in my house. I've got a golden retriever. That is enough animal fur and everything else. She's worth it, but whew, I don't want any Thing else that leaves behind anything. I'm getting quite a bit. It's not. I'm not gobbing it on, but I've I've got a little more than a thin layer because the paper soaks it up too. Yes and yes. I love birds and I love bird houses, as long as they're not real. My father-in-law used to raise them, and I used to just love to go over there and go in the birdhouse and watch him, feed them, and just talk about how much I loved them. Well, he surprised me with a pair. And that broke me right there. I said, I love them at your house, in your birdhouse. I don't like them at my house. So, but I still love birds. Hey, Darlene. Okay, let's get a little more Mod Podge on this corner. Not corner, but edge right here. Push it down really, really good. Look at that, y'all. This is a Dollar Tree. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that sweet paper. It's the paper that makes it anyway. This is dry enough, I'm sure. Let's just give it another minute. Then we're going to cut that heart in the front out. Um, we can go ahead and be doing the roof. Wow, that is drying really well. Okay, we can do the roof like this. 
I kind of had this in mind. It just kind of reminds me more of a I think so. I think that'll be good. Okay, let me go ahead and get that in the right spot. I'm just going to crease this. <laughs> I hear you, Carla. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, now I've creased it. See all my lines here? Now you got to remember which ones you want to cut on, though. Let's see. I want to cut on this. Okay. Let me cut. Let me go back here because I need to see that line and not guess. my crease. I'm going to crease it really, really good. Now, unless I've measured wrong, here's here's proof. But I'll probably have to eat my words here in a minute. See the... Oh, I don't have the paper. I do have it straight, too. Hold on. Um, see the over, overlap? Now, I don't know. It might just be the way I've got it folded. I might have to cut it off in a minute, but yeah, probably. That's okay. And you can, you can turn that down under the lip of this. You can paint that. You can add trim to that. You can leave it alone. You can do whatever. Hey, Linda. Hey, Joe. <laughs> Bless your heart. I left you my phone number today, Joe, in case you needed it. I think that looks like it's all covered. Maybe a little bit more. This is fresh raw wood, you know. I wouldn't say fresh. This is raw wood. So it soaks it up some. And not only that, but the paper will soak up some. So you got to make sure. You just need to smooth it out. Just put a lot. Just put enough and then smooth it out. Hey, Joe. I'm laughing because, bless your heart, you're having a hard time. But I'll help you. Okay, let's turn this around so I can see the front, and then I'll show you. Let me get that just even, just right. <laughs> oh, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. <clears throat> you guys, I have a subscription group. And um, we have a person here <laughs> trying to get on a few days, and we we gotta <laughs> we gotta get and make it happen. It's just funny. It is. It can be a pain, though. It can be a pain. Okay. Look at the rough on that. Okay, that's all we have so far. Now, somebody who loves 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 little birdhouses. Um. Hey, Diane. You can get a couple of pieces of paper and do this, and you can use you can use anything you find. Um, and they would absolutely love it, love it. Mm, well, I am too. That's the reason I gave you that today and said I'll help you. I don't want you to be intimidated because it can be a booger. So it's all right. We'll work. we'll make it happen. If that's what you want to do, you just let me know. Okay, I am just taking my X-Acto knife, and I'm going to cut that little edge off right there, because I want it to be straight, 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 along with the little wood. It's okay, too. By George, it's on there. I want to get that little peak right there. There's a little bit of extra paper.
Okay, now, look at that. What do you think so far, y'all? If you're loving it, show me some little red hearts over here. Now, let's cut this heart out. And you really can't feel it, right? You can't see it. You can kind of feel it. You kind of have to think about it being like, um, I'm just cutting a few. See, I just cut a couple little slits in there. And that's kind of scary because it's like, oh my gosh, I've already got this covered. And what am I going to do if I mess it up? You won't. You won't mess it up. Just press on your paper so you can see where you're going. Get your X-Acto knife and kind of cut towards the inside. can be a little more difficult if you're going around some curves, but still, it's, it's not hard to do. You can do it. And you might have an easier way to do this, but this is the surest way i found. Now, if we get all that paper out of there. There we go. See, there's that sweet little heart, and look how clean it is. Just clean as it can be. So... And I always take my finger, just press that paper. Okay, it's not going nowhere. Now, <laughs> let's see. I want to use a little bit of white just to trim it up. Oh, that's Mod Podge. I don't want that. I want white paint. Hey, Carolyn. I'm just going to use a really tiny brush and just do the eaves and just do the bottom and that little perch. I think I'm going to do that little perch pink, though. I think I need to trim a little bit on the front of the house, too. But we'll do that in a minute. Let it dry really good. Thank you, Olivia. These are really fun to do. I love doing bark houses. They are fun. And as soon as I paint that, I'm just wiping the edge of the paint off just to keep it off the paper. Because there's, you know, well, you can get it exact, but, oh, is that hard? But I'm going to try to do my best. There's a little extra paper here. Hold on. I want to get that paper off. Okay. This white is a little bit metallic-y. Um, I didn't mean to do it. It's okay that I did it, but that wasn't was not my plan. Uh, what did Carolyn say? While I'm sitting in the in the what? At least I hope not serious. Carol. Carolyn, sitting where? In the emergency room? Is that what you're saying? Oh, my gosh. What happened? I can't read all that. Yes, her husband. Oh my gosh, a lot of people are sick. A lot of people are sick. We will be praying for you, for both of you. 
sitting in the hospital is no fun, if, whether you're sick or not. But just just let us know. Okay, I think that's all that needs. Um, let me get some pink. Let me get a, I think a dark, kind of a, I think that will do. If it won't, I'll add just a little bit of that metallic. Hey, Pat. I think I am going to add a little more, a little metallic to that because that was awful dark for this. So I'm going to do this first, and if I think it's too light, I can always add darker. It's kind of hard to take it away. Of course, it is just paint. You just paint over it. That's a pretty color pink. It matches the rough. Some Spanish moss. Hey, Julie. Oh, thank you. I did get it cut today. Remember how messy I said this was? You know, before I do all that, I'm going to paint this. This has got a lot of texture, but I love the texture on it. So let me use, you know what? I'm going to use that same color that I used for the um, little perch. That matched really good. So let me just add a little bit of white. It's kind of a metallic silvery white and some pink. And let's just get that in there. Um, watching you while I was sitting in the, okay, that must be emergency room. Bless your heart. See, I just mix those together. And this pot is one of those that you get at Dollar Tree that's supposed to right in the ground when you plant something. I forget what you call them. But I love the texture of it. When you paint it, it kind of has a burlap look to it. Kind of a drop cloth look to it. Sure soaks up the paint. Biodegradable. Okay, that sounds right. I keep wanting to say peat moss, but I, that's that's not right. I know what peat moss is, and that's not it. So I don't know why I keep wanting to say that. Jill, I got your form. I don't have it sent yet, but I got it. Thank you. And this brush is um, peat pots. There you go, Joe. That's exactly what the, the uh, label says. 
See, I was not far. I said Pete Moss, but this is not Moss, right? So I thought, okay, it can't be right, but it is close. Been here for about three hours. Oh gosh, last time I was in the emergency room, I was in there nine hours. Just saying. Hopefully though, this is a Thursday night. Hopefully it won't be too crazy. I'll be in my subscription group, in our little group, Carolyn, after this. So you can find us in there for a while. So make sure you let us know. Hey, Lisa. It's about to be pink. Hey, girl. Man, it's soaking it up as fast as I can paint. It's just soaking it in, but I think it's about to get it. Love it. This is actually Flamingo Pink, that new crafters collection paint at Hobby Lobby. It's 49 cents. It's just Flamingo Pink. And then this is also the crafters collection paint, 69 cents. And it's called White Metallic. So there's a little shimmer in there. Not that it matters. I just happened to pick it up. So last week was dealing with kidney stones past it. So this week I have pink eye. No way, girl. Oh my gosh, Sue. I'm so sorry. Wow. There's a lot of people. Um, let's see. Gosh. Two or three people. Two or three of the crafters online have pink eye. And to my knowledge, they weren't around each other. I'm not sure of that, but I don't think there was any kind of event or anything. Okay, let's let that dry just a little bit. I might have to put a little bit of more. A little bit of more. Oh, my. Um, prayers for Sue, too. I know, right? Let's see if that shows through. Kind of feels like Joe, a oh, girl. <laughs> oh, guess what? This tin can lid gets hot. <laughs> it does get hot. I think I'll put it down. That's enough. Does it need more? I can't tell. No, I think it's good. It looks darker over here, but in the light it doesn't, so I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Oh, hey, Laurie. Thank you, thank you, girl. Okay, let's get some peat moss up here. First, let's go ahead and I don't want that little knot showing. That's kind of the ugly side. Let's get this side. Let's get this glued down. I'm not even taking that label off the bottom. Y'all know how bad I hate stickers, but it's not going nowhere. And nobody's going to see the bottom. So we're not going to fool with that. Hey, Margaret.
Now we can put this Spanish moss down there. Good evening to you. How's everybody in your household, girl? Carolyn Iceman is in the hospital right now with her husband. I like it messy and all the Spanish. I'm back. Have phone call. Hey, ne hey uh, ne Nancy. Do you know who was I talking to the other day? Patty. And I could not think of her name to save my life. Knew it as well as my own, of course, but just wouldn't, which wouldn't come. But I just got off alive. It's crazy what happens to your brain when you're on alive. It's crazy. Um, I was talking to her and was trying to tell her something and needed to say her name for some reason. Wouldn't come to me. I felt like an idiot. Hey, Lisa. How are you tonight, girl? This is kind of cute. And see, I didn't do anything to that tin can lid. Nothing. Let's see. Still need something. I'm not sure what. Trying to get ready for your first live. When? When is your first live? Make sure you send me a message right before. bit of greenery. I've got a pink rose. I'll sit a, I'll sit a little rose right there, I think. Thank you, Kathy. I've got some teeny, 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 tiny little flowers here. I thought I would stick just a few little if I can get them unhooked. Joe, you're going live too? How exciting, y'all. I guess it's supposed to be. <laughs> when? When, Lisa? Try not to stick my fingers in the hot glue because they're teeny tiny. So, so far, this is what I have. And I'm going to put some kind of greenery there. I don't think right here I have what I need, but I can grab it really, really fast. Hold one second. Next Monday at 2. Please send me a message like 20 or 30 minutes before. Not too long before because then I'll get busy and forget. But, you know, like 30 minutes before would be awesome. 
this is kind of just airy, just a little bit. So we'll stick some of that in there around. Let's see what I need here. When you have little bits and stuff like this, the greenery, you know, you're always tempted to throw it out. Don't throw it out. You might just need a little tiny sprig, just a little bit for something. Thank you, Carla. A little bit of greenery, a little bit, a little bit. Go a little bit over here. It's so little, it's hard to even fool with it, but, you know, this is a little tiny birdhouse. It's supposed to be, right? <clears throat> this is a really light, where's my scissors? There they are. Really light color, and we'll blend it, because it, it'll show better. I like this light color. Oh, I know you will be nervous. I'm, You know, I could sit here all day long and say, oh, don't be nervous, it'll be all right. But you will be, but it'll be okay. Just make sure that you've got some people on there that can kind of cheer you on, uh, you know, that could tell you something if something messes up. Or other than that, just do your thing. My hardest fear was getting it, getting on, like, making sure I hit the right buttons and, and the right thing and, you know, all that. And, and that, um, I still want to have a device over here and be able to put it down. And I do in the subscription group because, you know, it's just us girls. And if I mess something up, well, nobody cares and we laugh about it. But, uh, <laughs> uh let's see. What's the name of your page? You know, Lisa told me, I think, the other day, and I forgot, Lisa. Okay, let's see. I had... I have a little bird, but it's red. And I don't know if I want red with all that pink, even though it's Valentine's. I don't have a white one or a blue one. What do y'all think? If I just maybe add something else that's red and all that pink... Valentine's is a lot red and pink, but little of me crafting especially. Ah, great name. Cute name. I just don't know. I don't think I want a red bird there. So I will just have to pick up some birds next time I go to Hobby Lobby. Um, or somewhere. Yeah, it's too much red, too red. Um, if I had a little bit of red in the paper or something, it would be okay, but I don't. So, let's see. I was going to put some little something over that heart. Let me think. What was I going to do? Let me find something. Let me see. Let me see. Let me get into my bling here. No. Oh, I was going to put stickles around that. I brought the stickles in here to do that. Can you paint the bird? Mm. No. Then he'll look, you know, like, kind of like mm, deformed. Or, I don't know if that's even a nice word. Uh, that's pearls. Um... No, I have tried before, and the faces are all ugly, and I think I need to get a little white bird with something on it. I'm going to put some stickles on here and let it dry just a minute. This is that... Oh, great, it's not going to come out. Hold on, i got to unstick it. 
Hey, Teresa. This is a really long needle. You know what my fear is? Doing this and slipping and <laughs> sticking it back. Oh, well, that was nice. The whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's see what happens now. Let's see if I can get it out. Let me try something on this paper first. Um, barely, barely, barely. That's not working so good. You know, I don't give up that easy. I'm gonna try again. Let me squish the glob out. I don't think it's coming out. Hmm. Hey, Ann. Y'all get to watch me struggle. Let me find a pen or something. Mm. I have one of those things that go in there to unstop it. Except, I think it's in the other drawer. Do I have another pen? I don't know. Let me just keep trying. Hold on just a minute. This can't be that difficult. Where'd that piece of paper go? Now watch it go. You know, that's always the... <laughs> just pop the top out and clean out the glob. Pop that out. Ooh, I've never took one of those off. Not, not one of these bottles. Let's see if I can do that. Apparently you have, Sue. It's really down in there. I'll have to do that when I'm not live because it's not. Oh, wait a minute. Here it comes. <laughs> I might get it. I don't think so. I'm going to have to get my husband to. Do some surgery to this. Oh, there it comes. Look what I just did, y'all. I got enough there for eternity. All right. Put some stickles around this opening. And this is the iridescent clearish. So it really... Oh, it's really coming out now. I might have just wished I said it'll. Well, it, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Now let me clean that top off. <laughs> Where there's a wheel, there's a way, y'all. Now, let's see if I cannot move that. I don't want to blow it, you know. I can't say that name. If I try, I will mess it up. The Shira. Y'all, if you're new to my page and come in, let me know where you're from. It's always interesting to find out where people are from. Some of you I remember, some... Some of you newbies, I don't. Hey, Dawn. I'm just, just trying to get... Okay, it's pretty wet. And it's going to stay that wet. If I stand it up, it might run down. It's that thick. See how thick that got? So, this is probably all we can do to it anyway. There's really nothing else left. So, we're going to call this done, y'all. Hey, Connie, how are you? So, all right, y'all. That is how simple you can cover a birdhouse with paper. Hey, Joyce.
Joyce is from Ohio. She has been coming on a long time, hadn't you, Joyce? Um, little of me gifts and specialties. Okay. Do you know how to put a, well, Facebook friends on that, so, mm, that's okay. Um, you, do you have your page yet? Because you can't, well, you can't come in. Um, if you were on that page, you could come in as that page name, and it would be like, you know, somebody could click on that if they wanted to. All right, you guys, that is all I have for tonight. I think it turned out cute, though. It's kind of like a hat in my head. So, um, go to Dollar Tree and get yourself a little peat pot. Went to double check. It's correct. Okay. Love watching you. So inspiring. Thank you, Joyce. This is kind of simple, simple, but this is adorable. And you could put this in just about anywhere, you know. So, hey, Nancy. Okay, ladies, um, in my subscription group, give me about five or six minutes to change hats and gears and all that stuff. And I am going to go over to my other desk, set up my phone over there, and we are going to work on my journal, my daughter's journal. Okay, so um, for those of you who are on and watched me tonight, I'm sure... Let's see, this live button is here. I'm still live. But if you're watching me right now and that red button is not there, then you're watching the replay. Thanks for doing that. See you soon. Sure, Joe. Sure. And if you call me, I'll walk you through it. I left you my number. Sure. Love to have you in the group. Um, anybody else interested in the subscription group, let me know and I'll give you some info. Um, okay, you guys, good night. And if I don't come back on, let's see, it'll probably be, could be Sunday. It'll be Tuesday night. Okay. You have a blessed evening too, Loretta. Good night, you guys. Have a good night, everybody.